Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and to the ranking member, Ma uh, Madam Secretary, good to see you again. Housing remains the number one issue in my district uh, that I hear from my constituents, uh, but that should be no surprise as Nevada is currently bearing the brunt of this country's affordable housing crisis. Supply, or rather a key lack of supply, remains the driver behind our affordability emergency, which has left Southern Nevada with only 13 affordable and available rental units for every 100 low-income household. This is an unconscionable level of scarcity and incentivizing construction is the only feasible path forward. It is gonna take strong public-private partnerships as well as coordination with housing developers to spur the investment necessary to make housing affordable for everyone. To do so, we must work with the tools available to us to leverage our tax code and make increased construction of these projects feasible across the country. Under your pur purview is the Low Income Housing Tax Credit, one of the most powerful incentives that we have to provide the necessary support for the development of affordable housing. However, I've heard from my local developers that this effective credit can be more efficient, which will expand the population that it can serve. There are necessary improvements that the program uh, could achieve, which are included in my legislation, the Housing Market Transparency Act. The bill would create a central repository for state housing agencies to provide critical information on housing developments, uh, such as the construction costs, quality of living spaces, health and safety information, and ownership data. The public-private partnerships of LIHTC program that make it such an effective method of bringing affordable units to a community also create inherent issues with transparency. So, Madam Secretary, how could Treasury and the IRS make uh, LIHTC more efficient if you were able to capture comprehensive data on these properties? And additionally, what other improvements to the LIHTC program do you recommend to help further incentivize the badly needed construction of more affordable developments? Well, Treasury certainly supports efforts to improve transparency. Uh, and accountability that um, are consistent with legal requirements. And um, we're very happy to review the bill um, that you um, have introduced and try to provide technical assistance. We could work um, with the IRS on um, administration of LIHTC and see uh, if there are interactions there that would be favorable completely agree about we have a real crisis with respect to affordable housing. I would say generally uh, Treasury is trying to think of how it can use every single tool at our disposal to improve supply of affordable housing. I was in Minneapolis a few weeks ago and was able to announce that we're using um, $100 million that is income from um, our investments in the CDFIs to plow it back into affordable housing. And of course, with respect to LIHTC, um, but, you know, the president's budget uh, proposes um, increased funding of LIHTC, which um, would be very important. The president proposed a program that would expand um, affordable housing by two million units and love to see that become law. I, I agree with the need to build more housing to address the affordable housing crisis. Madam Secretary, I also wanted to note uh, the incredible success from the direct file uh, program. And I am pleased that Treasury recently announced that you will be making this direct file permanent uh, Nevada had the fifth best uptake of the program um, of any state in the country. Notably, 90% of the respondents rated that the program was excellent or above average. Uh, so I believe that we need to continue to uh, promote the direct file program and expand and permanently reauthorize it so that Nevadans will be able to have that support all year to learn about their options to direct file and to earn the tax credits 
and benefits that they deserve, especially as we have debates about who should get the tax uh, benefits. It should be the working people of America, not big corporations or billionaires. With Thank that, you. I yield back.